18-year-old D. Blessing Asaburi started playing basketball at school in 2014. In 2017, she was named the most valuable player at a local match in her hometown in Nigeria's Delta State. But she aspires to be in the global basketball spotlight, a dream that Nigeria's stunning pre-Olympic basketball victories are bringing to life. It's a motivation for we to be making waves over there and then our names is already nationwide and it's creating pathway for people who have felt, OK, basketball isn't something that you can use. It's not going to pay. Nigeria is the first African country to qualify both male and female basketball teams together at the Olympics. But the Nigerian team on Sunday was defeated by Australia 84-67 to in their opening match in Tokyo. Yet, supporters like professional basketball player Yahaya Abdul say that does not dim their hopes for the team. I know we're going to do well. We're going to make the country, they're going to make the country proud. And we, back home here, we're here to support them 100%. Like me, I don't think I'll miss any of their games. Despite Nigeria's run of success abroad, basketball is struggling back home. The country has not had a basketball league in nearly four years. Game facilities are inadequate and are often poorly managed or overlooked, says sports expert Uluwa Femi Adefeso. I, I think the, the advantage of the national teams doing well is something that you know, the authorities you know, haven't really annexed. You know, it's, it's, it's gotten so much attention, visibility, both at home and abroad. And I think the, the opportunities there you know, are not being looked at. If we want basketball to grow, then we have to invest in those things. Nigeria's D Tigers team at the Olympics is made up of 12 players, including eight who have played in the NBA. The team must do well in Group B competition against Germany and Italy in coming games to reach the quarterfinals. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.